Sam, we're getting to the end of Oshkosh. We're all beat, but we saved some of the best for last. Height of coolness, your very own little World War II generation fighter plane, and it's got an honest-to-God radial engine. Tell me about the project, what brought it on, and where this project is going right now. Okay, well, this project started as a thought I had about 25 years ago with a good buddy of mine at a Sun and Fun when we sat in a lowly 5151 and we're like, it's too bad this is kind of like really just an ultralight because it's a great concept. We had this idea to do kind of like the war replicas but as a finished kit mm -hmm. and it never went anywhere. Life gets in the way. But my oldest son had a senior project in college at Rhode Island School of Design where he had to come up with a product company marketing research and then pitch the professors and so he said hey dad how about this scalebirds design so he came up with everything his professors when he got the pitch said you've got to finish this concept it's been six years in the design and development but we're about ready we're going to be flying in about a month month and a half so it's a Werner motor seven cylinder seven u it can also handle the five cylinder Werner does five seven and nines right now they're getting real popular, so if you want one, let us know. We're a dealer for them. They asked us to be a dealer when they found out what we were doing with their engine. It's a real radial engine, and it's direct drive. It cruises at 1,800 RPM, and it's a real throaty rumble like you would expect. A lot of torque in that engine. So this is 124 horsepower, but it acts like a 135, 140-horse engine. So everybody's pleasantly surprised when they start flying their engine on their plane. Now, what are you expecting out of this platform? What, what do you think this airplane will do? We're expecting in the 150 range. Our numbers are very preliminary and very conservative. Our engineers don't want to put out anything that they can't back up. Mm -hmm. What are the plans for kidding? This week at Oshkosh we've been looking for beta builders prospects. We want three or four kits that are going to be built very quickly by somebody who's basically an expert. Mm -hmm. Somebody that can look at it and go, well, I'm gonna do this bracket first instead of that one, and help us with sequence, parts fitment, and if they have any you know, general issues with it, that we'll address that with those kits so we can inform the rest of the standard kit. Mm -hmm. And so that should be by this time next year, we'll be selling a standard kit. Everybody's a little different when it comes to assembly times, but we're expecting it to be very similar to a Sonex build, but about 30-40% more time because there's a lot more detail. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot more detail in our canopy than the Sonex does. Mm -hmm. We have fairings that need to be fitted and put in place, things like that. It's, it's not difficult work. It'll just be to get this look, you got a little bit more time involved. What do you expect cost-wise? What's the range? We're looking completed airplanes, about 65 but the average build will probably be 75 to 80. Okay. You know, with normal avionics, nothing crazy. Okay, and I, I do have one additional question because I saw something that really teased the conscience. A half-scale B-17 is being floated around here with four of these things. Uh, pray tell. Well, it's still a little top secret, but... Um, it was. Was. The genesis of this is there's a family that their father had this idea, but he was the maintenance officer for the 303 in England. Him and his team put about a thousand B-17s back in the air into the fight. The family's always gone to all of the B-17 reunions and at a time when all the pilots were thinking, we got to restore a full-size B-17, he, he knew what that would mean for an effort. And he was like, let's do a, a half size. This concept started with the veterans themselves and it never materialized. The family are in a position to do one or more and want to know how many other airframes, because if you're doing all the fixturing, all the parts, all of the machining for one set, you could readily do more. And so we're looking for other organizations, other individuals that were interested in a half size where you can actually fit a pilot and a staggered co-pilot. You can get people in the back. This will have four Werner radials that sound every bit the part. So it's going to be an amazing, amazing airplane. Sam, thanks so much. Thank you. Pleasure to have you on yeah. Aero News, Airborne Aero TV. And